Righto, this is going to be called box number three, lucky dip box number three. I forgot to put lucky dip on the last video, I noticed that and I thought, ah. Now, if you can hear a fan in the background, I've got my evaporative uh, cooler going because it's just got a bit warm out here this afternoon. And uh, I thought, you know what, um, this might help a bit. So it is, it's really nice. Okay, so what we're going to call box lucky dip box number three, which we did start on on the last video to be fair because we showed you some of these beautiful um, antennas for 290s, 690s, 790s, etc. And um, unfortunately most of those I'll probably take up with my units. <laughs> I don't know yet, we'll see. But if I can offer one out there, uh, we'll talk about it for sure. Okay, so I'm, once again, I have not touched this box. Oh, I have now, I've just dropped half of it. Okay, what do we got here? This is a bag. There we go, FP757GX. Oh, I know what these are. This was a surge protection kit they put out for them, um, which was well worth fitting. Actually, well worth fitting. Um, yes. All right, so we've got a few surge protection kits. I'm taking it, they're all the same. Hang on, let's have a look here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, same one, seven, yeah, okay. So we've got quite a few surge protection kits. If, uh, I'd highly recommend it. I'm probably gonna fit some of my own. Um, but um, we'll uh, get that sorted. Just let me get this thing off my screen. It just come up and said, are you short on cash? We can loan you money. Uh, but I don't need that, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to do a video. Righto, okay. Uh, oh, I like the sound of this. Meter shunts. Now, anyone that's had a repair on a, um, oh jeez, hang on, give me a sec. Uh, on an FL2100, uh, these have come out of bees, I reckon. Um, so you've got the shunt resistors, these are all branded, this is, this is unreal. Um, here we go, yeah, there you go, shunt uh, for the meter for the FLDX2000, sorry. Uh, I said um, 2100 bees, but for the 2000s, although a lot of those were very interchangeable, to be fair, but uh, what does it say here? Oh, well, there you go, it says 2100B on there. $2.50. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Whenever I've needed to get one, I couldn't get one. That's the problem. Oh, geez, I tell you. Crazy, isn't it? All right, um, put them over there. FT901 connector, two pieces of. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yep, yeah, actually, there. Pretty common um, uh, in 901s, 101 ZDs, etc. Uh, so um, common if you, uh, sorry, good if you break one. Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay, let me just pull one of these out. I've got a few of these. These are original. Now, depending on the connector, um, as you'll see, grey relay, blue A or C, that'll tell you what it is straight away. And uh, this here uh, is a plug to go on the, <laughs> I'm just about to guess, but let's not guess, FT1 to 2100Z. Okay, so these are these are beautiful. These, these feel like brand new. They're crazy. This is just, this day is crazy. I've never seen, this is like going a time walk back to the 1970s and 80s. But okay, so this is the um, um, correct pin out, ready to go, straight for, see, if it fits in FT1, it fits a number of other models too. Um, I'll probably, uh, if anyone needs one, get back to me. Um, we'll get, you know, we'll give you all the different variations of what they fit. But um, how nice to have the, you know, um, the correct leads for your 2100Z. Not bad. Okay. A Yasu YH2 headset, brand new, from the 1980s. <laughs> Great little uh, single earpiece uh, headset they were. Uh, this box is just labelled FT980 spares, so that's always a bit of a lucky dip, of course. So what we do is we go into it, and we have a look and say, what did they use? <laughs> if this is what I think it is. Oh my goodness, okay. It is. Uh, let me just turn this camera off for a minute. Okay, I just wanted to confirm that because... Um, um, if these are real, and they are, and they date back to, um, um, let's see, that date code's uh, 89, is it? Oh, it's upside down here, sorry. Uh, let's have a look here. They date coded everything. 89. 1989, there it is, 2 by MRF 422s. I mean, really? It's just, <sighs> these bits, you know, to get original Toshibas. By the way, there's a few other bits in there to suit uh, 980 as well, but... Um, Nothing that's going to make you sort of go well as much as the um, MRF 422s, which is sort of handy. Very, very handy, uh, for sure. Uh, suits a number of radios, by the way, not just the uh, 980. Okay, next. We have a nice heat sink. Not sure what that's come off. Um, what radio? Um, okay. Mounting spots there, for sure. Okay, have to research that one. And once again, another heat sink. Um, and um, not sure if these are Yesu, uh, very hard to tell, uh, but you have to sort of look at the back. I mean, they could be, I mean, that looks a little bit like some of the models that I've seen. 
Okay, let's see what we've got here. Um, a fan for one of the FT101 ZDs, etc. And a reel here that I don't understand what that is. Uh, oh, sorry, it's a fan. Sorry, yes, 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 like a blower fan, um, but um, it's two. <laughs> I was going to say, it didn't look right. Okay, so what we do, put it that way, and uh, yep, came come out of the Asus. Can't remember which one. The other one looks like it's 101, uh, that one over there. The black ones, I'll have to double check just what they come off. Right, oh, the SB1 PTT switch. So, um, trying to remember now, does it say? Uh, FT708R suits to FT208R. So, all the handhelds, it's a little remote um, uh, switch, PTT switch for it. So, you could put that on your belt and basically um, have a little lapel mic, etc., I suppose. Guessing a little bit there, but you know. Uh, let's have a look here. That doesn't look Yasu. I think we'll just sort of bypass that one because I don't know what that's for. And look, I must admit, there will be bits in these boxes. Um, keep in mind, so it's a power trend. Um, can't really see anything more about it on there. So let's just go past that. You guys are only interested if it's Yasu. Yell out yes if... <laughs> okay, forget what I'm talking about here. Just um, concentrate on the pictures more so than what I'm saying. You're joking. Okay, so... That's an AM filter, um, 6 kilohertz AM filter, uh, FT980. Jeez, brand new in the box. So what else have we got in boxes? FC757AT um, connection cable to the 980. And if, oh, here's a bit of a clue too. Um, if you've ever tried to cook an FC757AT uh, uh, up to uh, a lot of other radios, trust me, this is a godsend. Um, it really is. Getting the connectors is the hardest bit. Okay, so we've got another um, SB10 switch. So just to give you an idea of what they do, uh, momentary there and um, and lock there. So you could momentary hold and lock on there. So I'm sure that couldn't run into trouble. <laughs> uh, so okay, we'll put that with there. Oh, that, that's an SB10 and that was an SB1. So the reason I say that is that um, that's got to fit another radio. So and I noticed it had an 8 pin plug on it. So um, that would be true. Hopefully. Okay, don't you love the 70s? If you could build something in a tin, you did it. And I bet you I know what this looks like a little attenuator. Whoops. What has he done here? Yep. <laughs> 16, 8 dB, 4 dB, 2 dB, 1 dB at 75 ohms. Look at that. Unreal. And this is what used to happen. This is, you know, the real hams, not like me, um, that buy things in boxes and, and can't make his own antennas because he's too lazy. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et I get accused of a lot of things. All true, by the way. Um, if you hear it on air, it's probably true. Um, okay, these are just generic bits and pieces. But how generic? Because those Yasu, they could be Yasu switches. Um, yeah, they could be. I have to have to think of, a little bit of a think about that. Mr. QR, Rob, you have a think about that too. I'm just something's making ringing a big bell with me uh, for these switches. Um, I'm missing something in my head for older Yasu. Okay, uh, they, they're definitely labelled Yasu. Well, the bag is anyway. Uh, okay, now there was this very interesting board, but obviously not Yasu. Anybody got any clues? They run um, 220 volts up to it um, and 380, so okay. Um, no idea. Um, look, you know, these sort of things here, I rely heavily on you guys. Um, if it's um, of any use to someone, you know, things like this uh, really are no value to me. So if you know what it, what it is and you need it, it saves us because, you know, we'll probably just steal it for its 63 volt 2200 mic caps and things. So, you know, um, if it has a use, great. Um, all yours. Um, don't worry about this one. I saw this uh, when I first picked up the box and I thought, that's got to be a VCR or a CD player or something. That went right. <laughs> um, okay. So now we're getting down to a bit of stuff here. There'll be more underneath though. It's not, don't get, don't leave the channel. It's not going to get boring yet. Uh, just some electrophone mics, okay, I oh know, not exciting, but, but, you know, hey, that's all cool. Uh, righto, that little box here, God knows what this is, I recognise that connector, that Smoto, they been, okay, um, oh, sorry, don't really know, as you can see, I'm making two very distinct piles. Um, oh, have a look at this, never seen one of these in my life, television tuner substitution box, with all their channels, with RF output. And you can see, huh, um, 
Righto, uh, let's just put that aside. It, it's got some um, value in the fact that it's, you know, you're not going to see one of those every day, but I can't, I've got to be honest, I don't know. Okay, so what have we got here? Very small antenna switch. Probably wouldn't want to put too much through that switch. Um, probably 100 watts or so, uh, but it's an antenna switch. Okay, let me pull these boxes out. Now this was wrapped up in this plastic here. This looks like the back. I'm thinking of an FT-107. Um, sorry, my camera just flipped then. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's better. I just realised it had gone the wrong way. I reckon I've got a 107 on the ground over here somewhere. Um, let's just look at the back of a 107 and see if that... No, that's not... Oh, hang on. Oh. Look at that. 107. Okay, so it's a back plate of a 107. How many people smashed their 107 back rears in the 80s and 90s? I mean, I mean, it's, it comes, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a, you know, it comes in that bit of plastic there and all very nice, but wouldn't have thought too many people broke those, but well, maybe they did. Or maybe one person did and never picked it up. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so um, now just going into here. Uh, external VFO, if I'm right. I think, I think, I think. Jeez, I think they use those on, um, oh. Oh, look, sorry, I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. I, I just trying to remember now. Um, I think it was an external VFO off. Oh, no. It wasn't the 101ZD. No, no. Um, da, 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 da. Come back to you on that one. See, see when I give up? It's very easy. Um, uh, okay, so these are all off 690s and 290s and things like that. Uh Oh yeah, just power cord for, um, there's five power cords in there for FRG 9600s, you know, um, pretty, pretty common old garden stuff that you can get, obviously, um, um, transformer, oh, what's in this bag, this bag for the transformer, right, fair enough, uh, this is one of those um, uh, kits for the uh, 757GX, um, the, 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 sorry, the FP757GX, the power supplies um, uh, that we had some kits we showed you earlier. Now these little universal joints and things, um, they're not easy to get these days, they're, well they're impossible. Um, but uh, there's a few models that, uh, that actually use these, um, so uh, very handy. And we've got a few of those. And we've got, we've got, we've got... Hmm, unknown. Okay, so getting down to the bottom of the box now, finally. Uh, this looks like a little crystal tester of some description, what have they got written on there? Uh, crystal checker, Bale Electronic Services, 12 volt input. Oh, hey, let's have a look at that. That's, uh, it's actually branded quite well there. Uh, Jackbox B BC360 from Signal Corps. We'll have a look at that one for sure. Now oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we've got another. Oh, since I can't read that, sorry. Um, Yes, sorry, come back to that. <laughs> sorry, I'm just getting a phone call at the same time, so I'm just having to divert around a bit um, and just I'll message that person in a second. Um, never throw away a crystal in a Yasu box. I'm going to need my special glasses for this. Um, no, I can't pick it up, unfortunately. All right, um, we're just about to the bottom of this box. Um, more Yasu little bits and pieces. Oh, okay, sorry, we're not. Uh, we were... I thought. Uh, handles. Oh, look at this. These are all Ye brand new Yesu, Yesu handles, strap handles. Um, now, these, these will fit 107s and all, quite a, actually quite a few different uh, models. Uh, what do we got here? This is a RS232 lead for a 980. Um, geez, that goes back a while. Goodness. And another DC lead, which you've seen enough DC leads to last your lifetime. Okay, so what's left is... Um, if I've got this box right, it sounds like heat sinks. Hang on. And we've got um, four heat sinks here. Sorry, my phone's just getting messages and it's hard to do the video at the same time. Okay, so, sorry, two heat sinks, not four. Two. I've been a little bit over the top, wasn't I? This one says switches, so it's obviously not a uh, Telstra phone. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is sort of the mother load. Um, let me just bring that out. Um, I'll put it on our new drumstick freezer. Everyone should have a drumstick freezer in their man cave. But let's have a look. Um, just by the color coding of these, I can tell what models they're for. Um, just hang on two secs. I've just got someone about to call me. Okay, so <laughs> we've got some work to do here. 
and um, and there's going to be a lot of sorting. These switches are, um, I don't know if any of you are recognising what some of them are, but trust me, they're very, very rare. And they do go faulty, unfortunately. And um, these are off FT 101s. Uh, a lot of push button little momentaries. Boy, so now, me, now my fan's being a pain. Hang on. Uh, a lot of knobs uh, here. Gee. Look, there's, there's a lot here. I'm, I'm, um, that there. The white button should give it away. Oh, I'd have to go run in front of <clears throat> in front of a couple of radios to um, check what they are. But suffice to say, putting myself in front of this fan was ultimately stupid. Hang on, let, let me just move. <laughs> that fan's just killing me. I was better in this box here, believe it or not. Uh, okay, so a lot of Yaesu switches um, and switch banks, which will restore a lot of Yaesu radios I can tell you I won't try and bore you with exactly what I think every one of them is right now uh, but I can tell you now so that's a mode switch um, there um, off, which, <coughs> off which radio um, we'll have to work out so there's another mode switch um, see they they've got their part some some have got part numbers but not uh, quite model numbers what's on them uh, yeah we got our work cut out for us just to work out some of this but that's that's half the fun isn't it um, and when you go looking for something, uh, there's a good chance it might be in here. Um, anyone remember the ASU that had the red and the white? Oh, boy, chuck a note if you do. Uh, but yeah, all good. Um, goodness. Let's have a look. Sorry, my phone keeps ringing in. Unfortunately, I just can't. It'll stop my video and I can't take the calls. Um, yeah, that's just a normal automotive. Look, suffice to say, there's a lot of Yaesu switches in here to go with a lot of old Yaesu radios. And, you know, they do they do pack up. So, boy, that's huge. And then I'm looking at this box and I'm going, I thought I just found the mother load, but no, I don't think we did. I think it's still coming. Um, some 12BY... Ah, uh, are they 12BY7s? Sorry. Just having a bit of a look. Oh, geez, I just can't see. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'll have to pull one out just to uh, get a bit of a look. And I've got to say, my eyesight these days, boy. Yeah. Oh, let's have a look here. Through the camera, I can probably see better. You can probably see better. <laughs> I'm trying to see the labelling on it, but... Oh, my... Yeah, it's a little bit darker in here than I probably need. Um, I'm guessing the 12BY7s, but boy, um, I could be very wrong too. Oh, some neons as well. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Um... The AC filters, jeez, and more filters. XF30A uh, sideband filter for is it brand new? Yep. Okay. 980 somewhere around that sort of region, I reckon. Um, obviously, everyone recognises one of these. Brand new too. Amazing. Okay, so what do we got in the last box inside the box? Um, sorry, what was that bit? Oh, that's just some more switches again. Um, this one's a little bit more difficult to show you, but, wow, check that. Now, we'll, we'll find out what that goes on, but, um, boy, wouldn't you hate to try and get one of these new these days? I, I know it'll be something quite old, because just about everything I'm finding, um, they're, they're definitely not off the AC. <laughs> there you go, see, I, I was able to recognise that. Uh, more mode switches again. Boy, there's just there's just some stuff in here that my goodness. Uh, now they they look ominous, um, but they're not. I don't think they're Yaesu. No, no. Um, not sure what they are to be honest. Bits and pieces there. There's a lot of filters and these are just knobs off uh, old Yaesus as well. well. We'll get into the knobs at some stage because there's a lot more to go uh, in the knobs. Okay, now I remember seeing these. You could buy knobs as a pack. Um, and that there is off a, it's just hard to tell through the plastic actually, um, it could be a number of radios, but definitely an 80s radio um, that that's come off, and um, more mode selectors, jeez, um, and more mode selectors, absolutely, jeez, and uh, more knobs to suit um, 
we'll have to work that out but they look very ominous 80s style knobs again all right so once again mode selectors bits and pieces my goodness um, this is just <laughs> an interesting box uh, so that's box three is it yeah box three we've taken 20 minutes for this video my apologies but um, there's a few more to go um, and there's, there's more actually we've got boxes underneath too that we haven't got to, uh, anyway 73 is all the best um, we'll keep on moving through over the next few days I don't know how much more we'll get done today back's a bit sore and the foot's killing me so I don't know if I can keep doing this too much longer but uh, getting old did a little injury a few years back and um, it's come back to haunt me as an old fella Cheers 73s from VK3, Charlie, Mike, JDW229, Tangamba, Langa, North East Victoria. Please subscribe and all the best.